Today, we become legends. Welcome to Upheaval, my concept for a permanent 2v2 mode with its own map in Smite. This video will be split into a few different sections, so you can use the timeline bar below to jump around as you wish. So firstly, I want to talk about why I think a 2v2 mode should even exist in Smite and why I think it will be successful. We have 5v5, 3v3 and 1v1 established and the only 4v4 game mode was so unsuccessful it was scrapped, whether you agree with that decision or not. So why would 2v2 be any different? Well, first off, I like the idea of having a mode to queue when you're only on with one friend and I think it's a good idea. If you don't like Joust very much like I do, you're either solo queuing or needing a 5 man party for a game mode like a 5v5. And there isn't much in between besides match of the day, which I'll get into in a second. I often find myself with just one other person on at a given time, and a 2v2 mode would be great as you don't have to deal with randoms and can just have fun as a duo, or even try hard as a duo. Match of the day has several 2v2 modes, such as Till Death, which is a random god 2v2 assault, and Joust the Two of Us, which is blind pick 2v2 Joust. These modes are great for the aforementioned reason of having just one other person to queue with, or even to solo queue and meet some cool players. People are way less toxic, I found, when it's just you and them in a duo situation instead of a larger group, in my experience. So that's the reasons I want a 2v2 mode in Smite and why I think it will be a successful addition. Let's jump into my actual concept for how to approach 2v2 in Smite. And of course, the best place to start would be a mini-map overview, so here it is. It's a relatively small two-lane map with minimal side jungles and a small jungle in the middle as well. It's very reminiscent of Siege in its base design and geography, but does come with a lot of differences. The first major design decision I had to make when coming up with this concept was two lanes or one. The current 2v2 match of the day modes of course use one lane, taking place on the Assault and Joust maps respectively. And what I ultimately came up with was a hybrid of both. The map you see on the left is what you'll start the game on, with two lanes to defend, making two separate 1v1s between the players, with potential for ganks and roaming throughout the jungle corridors in between. However, after one team loses all their tickets, more on this later, a map event called Upheaval is triggered where a giant Kabraken, similar to the Jormungandr in Assault, rampages through the area, destroying the valley walls at the sides and collapsing them inwards. Oh, I forgot to mention this map will take place on a steep ravine-like valley. Kabraken will destroy the valley as all players are thrown back to the fountain and the map transforms into the mini-map you see on the right. All greyed out areas are now inaccessible and the central jungle area is bulldozed by Kabraken into a single wider lane right down the middle of the map. A small area of side jungle remains undamaged and accessible in which there will be offering camps that can summon Kabraken back to the battlefield under your control to damage enemy phoenixes or the titan if the phoenix is destroyed. This is an anti turtling mechanic similar to Bull Demon King in Joust to stop players simply hiding under the phoenix and not fighting during this phase. You don't need this in Assault because people can't heal in the fountain, but you would need it in a scenario like this because I do intend for people to be able to back to base, buy items, heal, that kind of stuff in the upheaval. And the general idea is that once Kabraken rampages through the valley and collapses it, the quote, final fight ensues and the game will be over pretty soon, forcing both players into a true 2v2 in Assault style but with backing to base allowed as I mentioned. After farming up and winning or losing your 1v1 in the first phase, you fight it out in an epic final fight where you team up as a 2v2 to finish the job or turn things around for a comeback win. The team that triggers upheaval by exhausting the enemy team's tickets first will get a powerful buff that greatly increases their damage to enemy structures and titans in this phase to give them an edge in the final fight. As I alluded to earlier, upheaval is triggered when one team runs out of tickets in a similar style to arena. Each team will start with 200 tickets and will lose a varying amount for certain actions. Taking a tier 1 tower takes 10 tickets from the enemy, a tier 2 tower is 20, so taking all 4 of the enemy towers on the map takes 60 of their starting 200 tickets away. Every 10 minions killed by your team takes 1 ticket, god kills take 5 as in arena, and finally taking the iron fury in the centre of the map regains 10 tickets for your team in addition to its other effects which we'll talk about in a second. The visual theme of the map would be Mayan of course with Kabraken rampaging through the map for upheaval which is inspired a little bit by Jormungandr's presence in the assault map. There would be high and steep valley walls on each side of the map as if you're in a ravine of sorts and the order side would be more grassy and green with heavy vegetation while the chaos side would be more rocky and mountainous with a canopy of trees, potentially even some weeping willows for the central jungle area. After upheaval, the valley would be destroyed and the side walls collapsed in, covering the lanes you were just fighting in at the sides with rock, dirt and fallen trees, making them inaccessible. 
The central lane would have a cracked floor with small veins of ore exposed running through it and the whole map would get slightly darker from all the dirt and dust that was thrown into the air from Kabrakan's rampage. So that's the core design philosophy and visuals of the mode, two 1v1s that eventually collapse into an epic 2v2 on a single lane. The rest of the map is just harpy camps for extra experience and gold and something to fight over to get a lead. A rotating buff camp on the side of each lane which switches between blue, red and purple each time it's killed. There's also a special scorpion camp in a neutral spot on the side of each lane that when taken empowers your next minion wave in a similar way to Oni Fury from Conquest, allowing you to mount an attack on the enemy and try to take their towers. The neutral location and powerful effect of this camp means it will probably be highly contested and trigger plenty of fights over it in the laning phase of the match. And finally, the centre objective as I mentioned earlier is the Iron Fury, which will be a boss style enemy that's very difficult to take down, has a weak but permanent thorns effect and will require both players most of the time to take it. However, it gives a powerful benefit in reducing the damage your structures take for the rest of the game, including during upheaval by 5%. This effect stacks up to 5 times and the Iron Fury also rewards the killers with a large amount of gold and XP like any Fury as well as the 10 ticket refresh that I mentioned earlier. Stacking up a few kills on the Iron Fury is another great way to gain an advantage once upheaval comes to the battleground as you can more easily defend your Phoenix and Titan. While the triggering of upheaval might seem like a bit of a reset button that removes your hard earned progress on wearing down enemy tickets, you will still retain your golden XP lead, any Iron Fury stacks you got and will stack Kabrakan's Rage, a buff that increases your damage to structures by 1% for every 10 tickets you have remaining at the end of the first phase. You can also gain control of the offering camps in the side jungles and use Kabrakan's might attack to damage enemy towers for free if you have the pressure. These advantages are significant and will give you the edge in upheaval for sure, but won't outright win you the game if you can't work together in your 2v2 and finish what you started. And you won't always have every perk going your way. Maybe you triggered upheaval to get Kabrakan's Rage, but the enemy team got most of the Iron Furies throughout the match and has a better 2v2 team comp like Hunter and Guardian, whereas you built yours more for the two 1v1s instead of the 2v2 with Hunter and Mage. And ultimately, it could be a pretty close fight in upheaval. I feel like there are many different elements at work here that would make this mode truly unique and interesting to play. So of course, a lot of thinking went into the design decisions made here and they're by no means the only way to go about things. The triggering of upheaval could work in a few different ways like the ticket system I went with, but it could also be triggered by the taking of a strong central objective in the place of the Iron Fury, or by taking all enemy towers if you wanted the game mode to be a bit more structure focused. There's tons of different directions you could go with this core concept. The reason I went with a ticket system is because it's very final. As we see in Arena, there's not much, if anything at all, you can do to stall out the end of a match. Sure, you could avoid fights at all costs, but you still have to kill minions and defend your portal from Juggernauts in Arena's case, or kill minions, take towers and defend the Iron Fury in Upheaval's case. No matter what, the first phase will come to an end at some point and Upheaval will be triggered, which is what I wanted for this mode. I didn't want it to go on forever or potentially even never have Upheaval triggered if I went for something like a central objective or towers destroyed since players could simply ignore those conditions, intentional or unintentional, and the game mode sort of stalls out and breaks down at that point. This ticket system makes it so there's essentially a clock on upheaval being triggered. Also, like it or not, but Arena is one of the most popular modes and having some familiarity there would be great for attracting Arena players to this mode. I really view upheaval as a hybrid between Siege, Arena and Assault, as you have a similar map style and shape to Siege with the two lanes and central jungle, a ticket system very reminiscent of Arena, and the upheaval phase which is much like Assault with a single lane and minimal side jungles. The jungle overall could be larger or smaller than it is at the moment, each player could get their own scorpion camp instead of fighting over a neutral one. There are a lot of different ways to approach this core concept of upheaval splitting a match in two, much like Kabrakan splits the valley when it is triggered. So let me know what kinds of things you would implement in this sort of game mode down below and we can craft the best concept for upheaval that we can. But that's all I've got for my 2v2 game mode concept. Hopefully you enjoyed this one and of course it is just a concept and I'm sure there are issues that would need to be ironed out before it was ever potentially put into the game. But I I just wanted to forward the idea since a 2v2 mode is something I've wanted for a long time. And I think the idea of upheaval splitting the match in two is a very unique selling point to differentiate this mode from other similar ones. But yeah, catch you guys in another one later on. Have a great day and peace out you nerds.